no, th thank you very much, uh, Mark. It's very nice talking to you. Uh, firstly, greetings from the Kingdom of Bhutan. My name is Ishi Jimba. I am the Minister for Works and Human Settlement. Great. Now, and I'm responsible for urban development as well as general infrastructure development in the country. Okay. So the country is well endowed with water. Uh, yes. What what it, do you does everybody have good access to water supply? Well, uh, we do have fairly good access to water supply, but it is becoming an increasing problem, particularly in the urban areas where you have large number of people coming into a given area. Uh, and a lot of the water, unfortunately, is in the valley bottom. And the urbanization is taking place very rapidly. And that by the year 2020, we expect more than 50% of the people to live in towns. So this is certainly a very big challenge. How can you in fact, uh, how can you prepare? Well, uh, the, uh, the what we are doing now is that uh, in every town we have a basic structure plan uh, in which water supply is one of the main components. Yeah. So we are yes. already preparing the infrastructure, and we are supposed to give good clean water to every citizen, whether in rural or urban areas, by the, within the next two years. The most serious challenge for us is not just the quality or adequacy of the infrastructure, but unfortunately, the drying up of the sources of water as a result of global warming and the climate change that has now affected us also. Right. So are there any initiatives that you are uh, focused on right now to improve the situation? Well, yes. Uh, of course, we look for new sources, but uh, the most uh, serious uh, focus is on um, water conservation. We are also protecting the catchment area uh, because at the end of the day, the forests are very important for water. Uh, we are also trying to introduce rainwater harvesting in institutions. And of course, we are taking measures to, uh, to conserve water and to improve the infrastructure in general. Yes. Um I've seen many examples of rainwater harvesting being tried, but are there obstacles to uh, making uh, people adopt to, to harvest rainwater? Are they comfortable doing it? Well, uh, we, what we are doing now is that, uh, of course, this is being done on a very small scale in uh, you know, things like some monasteries and so on. But we want this now on an experimental stage to be adopted in the institutions starting from schools. Right. And why do schools? Why are schools a very good option for you? Well, uh, well, for, for for one thing, they require a lot of water, and also in the schools, once you choose a school as a uh, as 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 a, as a participant, they would participate and benefit from yeah. this. So the option is not left to the school. We select the most appropriate school and give support. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. It's been really Thank good to talk to you, sir. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you.